And tonight on our great, great American panel, he's a Democratic strategist, and he's best friends with New York Senator Chuck Schumer. <laughs> and he was actually on the phone call as Chuck gave up his talking points. Chris Hahn is here. He is an Emmy and Peabody award-winning comedian. He's appearing next week at the Punchline out in Sacramento, California. It's on April the 21st through the 23rd. You should come on your private jet. Oh. Well, I don't have a private jet. <laughs> do you? I, yes, he also I works on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. What's I Stewart do. like in real life? You like I, him? I, yeah, he's a very nice He's guy. a big fan of mine. I can just tell by watching the show. <laughs> uh, uh, Paul Mercurio is here, and she is a columnist for the Sun Sentinel, Republican strategist Noel Nick Poor is with us. Well, I, I, beyond the fact that, um, that the president thinks that what? The speech. It, well, it was awful. I mean, I, I think it was mean-spirited. I think it was... Oh, well, tough enough. Do you not, do you no, 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 not I, think it was a promotion minute. of class warfare? I well, mean, if I was sitting here talking about Democrats don't want kids with autism help, don't want kids well, with Down syndrome help, old people look, have to know, die... It's a perfect you know. response to Ryan's Purina plan, as I like to call it, because it, most you, seniors will be eating food prepared by right. Purina yeah. if exactly. it ever comes to fruition. You know what? I just well, want money, because I was betting who'd be the first person to go to the, the cat food Purina analogy. Plan. Hey, well, no, Purina both, makes dog food, too, Sean. Sure. I just want to be clear about that. Both sides do this. So. The, the, the insulting thing was, you said it earlier, it was a political speech, it was vague. I mean, I've seen more detail in the scrambled Cinemax porn channel on my cable system. <laughs> okay. Is that what you watch? Yeah, <laughs> you should All right, that's over. pretty we'll pathetic. All right, well, you they won't pay on Stuart. Well so. well <laughs> you know what I noticed, which I thought was really funny, <laughs> is the rich did not put us in this debt problem. It was the government that put us in the debt problem, well, this, but yet they're looking at the rich to well, bail you know it what, out. If we went back to the Clinton era tax, uh, uh, tax oh, please, rates, Clinton, we would be exactly, Clinton, Chris, would be exactly where we were then with the surpluses. the benefits of Reaganomics, honey. Uh, uh, well, well, you know, he, he, he didn't destroy the tax policy. He didn't, he didn't bring us into two wars and then decide to cut taxes. Reagan once. Said the problem, problem is for the American voter is nobody knows. In 12 years, okay, my son's going to be like 22, and I don't know what's going to happen in 12 years, and the voters don't know because everybody's talking in cliches, okay? Obama says we need... We need to use a scalpel and not a machete, okay? Which threw me because I thought he'd say we need to use a green card, not a birth certificate. <laughs> but, you know, and, and then the Republicans are no better, okay? I mean, the Repu is there ever a Republican plan that doesn't involve protecting tax cuts and tax cuts for the rich? Well, I mean, you, you it's don't so predictable. It's like dating a but girl hey, under 30 and trying to find somebody well, without hang a on tramp a second. stamp. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here's the problem, Sean. Wow. The problem for Democrats right now is Republicans have moved the debate so far to the right that when the Democrats come back with something, it's really center-right. It's not even to the left anymore. Right, let me, so let me, let me educate both of you because, right. because now I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> what you don't understand is, is that when the rich people that they're demonizing, and, and look, for all the people, I pay over 50% in taxes. Right. As, as most working Americans, the bottom 50% pays 2.9% of the bill. When those rich people stop buying watches like that, stop going to expensive restaurants, I was a cook, I was a bartender, I was a, a busboy, I was a waiter, okay? Mm -hmm. When they stop going on vacation, stop going to hotels, who's impacted? When the rich takes their money and invest it in another country because we're so not business friendly well, in this country. You know, the reason that's why, not a cliche. You know, uh, that honestly, is real the economics. The reason why rich are rich is because they can afford to do those things. Oh, really? Well, I don't want to do tax, it here anymore. I don't want to tax what about, listen, what about George I Soros, I who, who makes tax, money betting against the American you know, dollar? We're not what about, about him? George Soros right now. We're talking about the rich in general. And what I'm saying is I don't want to tax people so that they can't spend their money. But they define but have rich as a small business. We're talking about a 3% increase in the incremental tax rate. This is not... This is not putting people back to the Reagan no, era you know, taxation. You know what, if we went enough, back to the Reagan era taxation, thing. we would still be in a good place. You know I what go Obama back to says? Era. Obama says we don't begrudge the rich. Yet we want to punish Nobody, the rich. Nobody wants to punish anybody. He wants really? to balance what it out. What about the tag? Why, why is it all or nothing with you? That's what I don't understand. Why is it all with you? It's all or nothing. How much do you think? How much do you want of people's income? Whatever happened to liberty and freedom? No, but you want it to go down. We don't want it to go up in so far as that it's at least stay where it is and sort of not have. Oh, look, you want to solve this problem between Medicaid, Medicare, and the defense. Here's my solution. Let me show. Take old people, stuff them into a cannon, and shoot them at Libya. Okay? Then you don't have to worry about their Medicaid and Medicare. And bring them a couple and bags. And we save of money on this. The Everybody, yeah. you're going to be a segment on your own show. I mean, <laughs> uh, all right. By the way, this is Joe Biden watching the speech as we go out here. This is he was really captivated by the. <laughs> He's meditating, Sean. He's pondering. Well, watch the head, Bob, and then uh, tell me if he. Oh, oh, oh. He's yet saying yes, Mr. For like a straight minute, there's there's Biden. Wait. All right, on. I can't defend this anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's saying to himself, wake up, Joe. He's saying to himself, it could have been me. It All right. Yo, me. It could wake have been me. up. It should have We're been me. We're not on Amtrak right With now. <laughs> our great American panel, straight ahead.
All right, we continue now with our Great American panel. All right, so we all have uh, had the, 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 the groping and the padding oh, and the, the fondling. You. What? You like it. I do not like it. <laughs> You invite it. You stop projecting your feelings onto me. I mean, if that's how you feel about being gross. Look, it's that I, hair, man. I can't. Uh, what is up with your hair? I, I mean, hey, I don't want to have a conversation hair. about hair. Please. I want, yeah, you should. All right, yeah, who are you to talk about? Exactly. That? Well, that's the only point. person who I can make fun of is Donald Trump, your guest tomorrow night. Quite frankly, he yeah. makes me happy. I'm bald. Oh, he should be president. Oh. Then he, we can declare bankruptcy, and then he can brag about how much money we have. Oh no, no, please. Tell him I said hello. I don't want the White House is to be the gold house. So let me guess. For the John Stewart show, there's like six. There's 60 liberals sitting around a room, and I this is know. what you do. You just, you just beat up conservatives. Show. I'm just yeah. a monkey. I do a little warm-up thing, oh, and you I don't show do up. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, back to yeah, you. I notice you're bailing out of that fast. All right. Yeah. So anyway, so we all go through the, the groping, funneling, grabbing, touching, squeezing, whatever it happens to be. All right. <laughs> By the way, I don't really care. You can do whatever you want to me, except I prefer to go through... I don't know, but do you want to be seen naked? Or you want some you know wine what? and music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben Franklin said it best. Look, but look at this, a six-year-old oh, girl. Yeah, You've got to be kidding me. No, and, listen, and, listen, anything that stop. keeps kids off a plane, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't, honestly. Well, listen, could... they're, they're not sure what to tell her, like what that was about. Just say, look, you were in a long line, mm -hmm. you were aggressively touched by a stranger in a costume, you were at Disneyland. Just tell her that. No, but I think this was too much, you guys. This was too much. This was a kid. What does she it's have? What is she going to do? Look at that. You don't see anything protruding. There's a bomb Disagrees Honestly, because this is the new world order. You, the terrorists aren't these guys with right. goats. It's not that little girl. girl. Well, you don't know that anymore. No, I'm looking at her. Tell me where the bomb is. They have Franklin checking said, lotion as part of ben the war Franklin on terror. Said, those who sacrificed liberty for security deserve neither. We've been sacrificing our liberty for this ridiculous sense of security. Are you not friends with Chuck security. Schumer? Didn't he get mad? No, no that's, that's not right. You know, I think it's that's time. I think right. it's time we have some real Listen, security at the airports and not so this show that they have there. They're patting down six-year-old and my grandmother. Yeah, but you know, Chris, you're actually going to defend this little girl, not, you know, oh, he's letting agreed. her go in. I don't no, want this little girl to be packed out. I don't want that grandmother to be The three of you I, agree, I and I disagree. Ridiculous. I really do. I mean, they have me checking. I travel all the time. So and they have me I. check lotion, and I'm still, because of that idiot Richard Reed with the shoe What bomber, are you doing with the I'm lotion? I'm still checking. Well, well I, I we'll don't want to go there. It's <laughs> a family then, show. Then, that's, yeah, that wasn't me. And so, every time I go on, I carry this hand sanitizer stuff. Right. They rob it from me, and then I have to go right in the next room and buy a new one. No, that's the good people of Pharrell are making their money. That's because the war on it has nothing to do with ideological differences. What do they do it, with all those products? Where do all those products These get guys have well, the way, I bring this every time care he's product. on because then I don't want to get liberal <laughs> jerks. The war on terror <laughs> is a... I'm a progressive, is a, is Sean, a, please. It's a conspiracy progressive by the Colgate <laughs> Kamal of people to get you to buy more lotions and toothpaste. That's all it is. Oh, no, no, listen, conspiracy theory. Tell that to the people it. that died on You know, I use one bottle of shampoo a year except when I fly. I'm not minimizing that, but you know, honestly... I, look, it's, I have a kid. It's unsettling to see it, but I'd rather that right now because I think you're right. We're not sure where it's coming from, and it's yeah. certainly not coming from the typical terrorist guy that we all think of in our minds. I, 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 think, we but, I think we should profile. I think we should profile. What about that? I, think that there I agree are with you. I agree. That, I mean, come on. All right, so kid. we're going to give more attention to an exchange student from Yemen than we will... Um, a six-year-old girl or a 90-year-old grandmother. We should. We should, yeah. unless the grandmother has a little bit of a beard, which is possible <laughs> at that age. <laughs> that is so wrong. That is so wrong. <laughs> I'm Italian. I can say that. <laughs> that was so wrong. But don't, you think, but don't you think when they see, when the, when the terrorists are standing on the sidelines... I hope your grandmother hears this. <laughs> she did. She did. Now. She just oh, rolled over and agreed. She's it. When, uh, when the terrorists see us checking lotion and shoes in part of the war on terror, I feel like they're standing off to the side going, oh, look at them checking lotion and shoes. They have no idea we're going to blow them up with bobby pins and M&Ms. Like, they, they are so far ahead of where we are no, anyway. The, but they're not because we actually fought this battle for eight years, and while people on the left demonized that we've been very effective. Now, with all that said, those, there are people out there that, that hold this Islamic extremist view. Now, Belgium and France, they said no to the burqa. Well, yeah, look at that. Well, I mean, but isn't that, isn't that necessary? They should. Look, that is a terrorist risk right there. You can't see anything. You just well, see eyes. Number one and number two. You know, in the two. winter minute, in Vermont, what, you can't see anything Wait a minute. Either. Would that be a so. case where we profile? Would you, would you, is that Absolutely. fair? Are you concerned if people are fully covered, you know, loose clothing? Yes. You know, if you don't have a way to be able to monitor what people are doing when they're getting on the plane, then maybe you have to pat them down. But I think patting down a four-year-old or a six-year-old is kind of ridiculous right now.
So you what can about pick somebody I'm asking out about in a burqa. A woman in a burqa, if you can't scan her, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe. Listen, I want religious liberty. I just, I, I feel that in often the case that religious liberty doesn't exist for women that live under Sharia. I, I, I agree with that. I agree. Absolutely. And I, then I think the adjustments have to be made for a new world order. And if that means, you know, if you have to adjust your religious views and your religious practices, then so be it. You know? I really have a hard time believing that God cares how we dress. That's just me. Right, hang on a second. Uh, look, I may be shaking but your I'm hand not, after but this But who am I to judge? Oh, I don't know somebody who could the, be judging these people. <laughs> Fundamentalists <laughs> so don't get progressive germs. <laughs> what? Fundamentalists can get to anybody. They got the Cat Stevens. Oh. Good, well, see that? By the way, he, 